Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again. Today we're gonna be in the kitchen with David. So thanks for coming. <laughs> right. I want to show you how to prepare a typical Colombian sweet style rice pudding. It's a recipe I learned from my granny and it's a really really nice recipe. The ingredients are really easily uh, to obtain in your local shop. It's not really expensive or difficult to, to get. So I hope you guys like it and it won't take us too long either to make it. Okay, and so basically I have all my ingredients here ready as you can see. So it's very simple. What we're going to use is normal sugar that you can get like granule sugar white sugar if you like um, you can get this rice um, I got this rice grain rice pudding or short grain pudding rice and Morrison's so you can get that in Morrison's or you can also get this one here I got this one from Asta so it's not that expensive we're gonna use today some single cream which is really good and it's light so it's not gonna put us too fat and this one here is condensed milk. I normally like to put condensed milk and um, I like desiccated coconut. So I will advise you to get some desiccated coconut. Normally I also use like sultanas, but because with the COVID-19 and all that, um, I hadn't been able to go to the shops. So as I don't have any sultanas in my covers, so we don't want to use sultanas this time. And you also need some butter. So that is just bar, normal bar that you get like for cooking bar. And that's fine in, well, one pot. I normally use um, a mug like this, just to fill it up all the way up to here, the full mug like that, full of rice. And then, yeah, that is like the, the measuring thing that I normally use to, like to measure how much rice I'm gonna make. Normally, this makes way a few portions, so that will probably make maybe eight to nine people probably so if you have too much rice you can always keep in the fridge and just you have for like one day or two so that's going to be really good now yeah let's go with the rest so i already had poured the rice into this pot so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put it through the colander and i'm just going to wash it because i always like to take the starch off so yeah that's what i normally like to do i just wash the rice so just take off all the white thing, you know, the starch and all that. Because I don't like it. But some people just cook like that, I just don't bother washing it, but I always wash it, so maybe I'm too fussy. Anyway, well I just finished now like with the rice, it's nice and clean now. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna make sure the, the cooker is on, obviously. I put my cooker on. Yes. And we're gonna fill this wee little jug with 300 milliliters of water. We're gonna give the milk, a pint of milk. We're not gonna use the whole pint of milk anyway. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour 600 milliliters of milk into a little jog. So we're gonna make sure that is the right amount of milk. And that's it. So far, so good. Right, so we already added the water and uh, milk into this pot. So it's now uh, the stuff it's already on as you can see so yeah everything is fine so far now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some steaks of cinnamon steaks which are really good to give some flavor um we also gonna put some um, cloves because that is good as well for flavor and it's gonna make the rice really nice so that's what we're gonna do now just Hi guys, few. I just noticed I don't have cinnamon sticks. So what you can do as well is just get the cinnamon like this in powder, which is quite easy to get, like cinnamon ground, ground cinnamon, and some um, cloves, which is really good. And we're gonna use some ground, uh, ground nutmeg, 
not make squeggy for like cooking like you know for like making in this case we're gonna be cooking this making this um, rice pudding so I normally put some nutmeg to the moisture and that's gonna give us that gonna give us a really great flavor and it's gonna be really nice for this right guys so we are here now with this nice mixture it's milk and water as I mentioned earlier now we're just gonna have to use a, a wooden spoon like I normally cook with a wooden spoon because it's better than just cooking with a, um, a spoon that is no like like this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some sugar sugar will be good and then we're just gonna put a whole full spoon like this of sugar into the mixture and maybe a half just there this much so not too much some people put more some people put less I like it like that I normally do it like that but I mean adding the sugar is up to you like if you want it even sweeter like then you just put more sugar and if you just don't like too much sugar then you don't put too much sugar and that's it and then we're gonna add some we're gonna put some cloves so just a wee handful of them for a nice flavor and as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna get some cinnamon. I got some cinnamon powder, cause, well, I didn't have the sticks, you know, it didn't go to the shop today, so we're gonna use that, but that will work anyway, that will, that will be good. It's looking good and smelling beautiful, so nice. Then we're gonna add some nutmeg as well. I love nutmeg, so just add just a little, just a bit of nutmeg. And, the secret with this rice pudding is just to keep staying at so just always keep an eye on it because if you just take your eye away from it, I may, it may just burn so that's not a good thing so it's just good to be here all the time I know it's a bit kind of a nightmare to be standing out here staring at but it will be worth it at the end so that's what we're going to do Having passed three minutes, this is simmering quite nicely. I can smell the nice, mm, the nice cinnamon there and the nutmeg smell. Heaven. We're gonna start adding a little of um, condensed milk, just a little, just for a nice creamy flavor. It's really nice. And then we also gonna add some of the single cream which is really good as well to make it even creamier even creamy so we just add just a little and we're gonna keep stirring this keep stirring it constantly so just keep stirring this all the time so the flavors get to be compact all together and then you just can add a bit more of cinnamon so I normally add a bit more cinnamon Cinnamon. Well guys as you can see this is looking really good look at the rice It's getting really nice this rice pudding and the smell is amazing. It's really really nice So look it's getting really nice. So just don't forget to keep stirring constantly all the time Otherwise, it's gonna go all over the place and we just don't want that to happen. So just keep stirring gently and yeah, that is just basically it. It's really nice. Hey right, guys, so we're still here, stirring this. It's smelling so good. After having passed about 10 minutes, 12 minutes, I will say, we're just gonna use some of this butter. So we're gonna cut some of this butter, as much as this, as you can see here. And then we're just gonna put it into the rice, the rice spoon, and just keep stirring. Butter, the butter is going to give them a nice extra flavor and it's going to mixture with everything else that is already in it and it's going to bring all these flavors up and it's going to be so good. So keep stirring constantly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some of this desiccated coconut into the mixture. So that's going to be really nice as well. So we're going to add some of this into the pot you can put as much coconut as you like i know that we just have a 
like that. I don't measure it because I'm kind of, you know, used to just put my hand like that and just go like that. So just put so much, just a little, not too much either. And keep stirring this constantly. And with the coconut and the cinnamon and the nutmeg, everything is coming to life and it's smelling so good. Guys, by this point, it's been like 20 minutes already that we've been doing this. So by this point, I will advise you to reduce the, the heat. Reduce the heat so the rice will cook better and it won't burn. As a final and special ingredient for this wonderful rice, we're going to add a tiny little bit of sherry. This is going to give us a beautiful smell and taste, so it's going to be really delicious. Now guys, this rice, rice pudding is looking so good. Look, it's already getting the consistency we're looking for. This is what we're looking for, so if you're at home doing, making this, if you see your rice pudding getting into this stage like this, you have managed to make this rice pudding. You done it. So yeah, so just keep stirring a little bit. I will say maybe another three minutes and it will be ready. Guys, this rice is ready. The rice pudding is ready. So now we're just going to separate some of this rice into a bowl and just let it get cool a little, a little and then we'll be able to test it. But it smells deliciously incredible. The sherry does does a really good job in this, to be honest. It's just right. Guys, that's us now. We have managed to make this wonderful Colombian style rice pudding, creamy rice pudding. As you can see, this is the consistency that we are looking for to achieve. So if you guys have managed at home to, to create this, you done it. Now we're gonna proceed to serve this into these two bowls here just to let it set nicely and get it slightly cold because if it's too hot I want to I, I wanna advise you to eat this too hot because it can give you a sore stomach right guys so this is the rice now what we can do is we can just add a, a little cinnamon just a little bit of cinnamon to look nicely if you like you add some cinnamon like that and that's it I hope that you try this at home it's a really simple easy recipe to follow and if you did, and if you follow this recipe and you managed to make this amazing rice pudding, please let me know right down the down below in the comments, in the comment section. Just write a comment and let me know how is that for you. Well, that was that for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, and if you try to make this rice at home, let me know how it goes. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.